morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to talk to you about the simple step of scheduling a follow-up call. So we have a contact on the screen, and let's make the assumption that I want to call this person, James, back in a couple weeks. Well, what I'd have to do is I'd either have to go up and click on the call icon right here, or I can go to schedule call right there. Either way, but the easiest way is just to click on the icon. So at this point, I'm going to go in and I'm going to determine what's two weeks out. That'd be the 21st. Then I have to go down here where it says regarding, and I've just got to type in something like follow-up. You know, and I might want to put more detailed information in here if I have a couple steps that I need to go through. Next, down here where it says ring alarm, right now it's set to no alarm. And I can choose to change this to set the alarm for a couple minutes before. What I do recommend is inact you should have this set to always show you the alarm. So in other words, you don't want to have to do this every time. You can go into some of the preferences and set it so you can do this in advance. So let's just say I'm going to have it five minutes before the call is scheduled to be made. So what I've done now is I have scheduled the time for a couple weeks out. I haven't picked a specific time. It took the time in which I'm doing this video and showing this example, which is 8, 18 a.m., and put that in automatically. If I want to do a different time, I have to schedule here as well. So now I've scheduled it for 11 o'clock on the 21st to James Brown at Tony's Company Inc. Now I'm going to just show you one other thing. Let's say I didn't want to schedule it for myself, but I want to schedule it for another person at my office. I can click on Schedule 4, pick that person, whoever it might be, by clicking the drop down and schedule it for that person. So the reason I'm showing you this is because there are multiple steps here. Now, it's not to say that's hard to do, but I, if you're in a bigger business and you have multiple employees and your policy is to follow up with prospects after you've called them maybe once in two weeks, there's a lot of steps there. So one, you got to remember those steps. Two, you got to make sure you hit every part of that step. And three, it just takes a little bit of time. So in my next tutorial, I'm going to show you a button that you can use with software to make that whole system easier. My name is Tony Hollowitz. Thank you so very much. Have a great day.